Hello and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and in good humor because today we'll talk about some books that are funny and that made me laugh. I am a reader that usually find humor in books quite often as I like to think I get some author's sense of humor and while I do chuckle from time to time while reading some books yet these four books that I will talk about today made me laugh my heart out and I probably looked like a maniac while left alone while reading these books. Anyways, I like a good book that makes me laugh, so let's get started. And I will go by the order of least to most funny. At number four is My Plain Jane, which is a retelling of the famous novel Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This book is part of a project called The Lady Janies that three authors have started and it's about retelling the stories of famous characters, real or fictional, that were called Jane in new and funny ways. Though I believe they have released the names of some new projects yet to be published that feature famous Marys, which I am very excited about too. So the retelling, like the original work, involves Jane being in Lewitt School and going to Thornfield Hall and meeting Mr. Rochester. But it also has Charlotte, the author of the book, as a character and her brother Branwell in the book itself. Which is very cool and refreshing, in my opinion. It also involves ghosts. Yep, that is the magical addition here, and our Jane can see them. And so the book follows the adventures that Jane, Charlotte and a dashing mysterious ghost hunter named Mr. Blackwood have in chasing down ghosts. You can get ghosts inside any book and you will have amazing and hilarious jokes going on. The authors used many references from Charlotte's real character and her real writings, I think, which was very good to see. As I was reading, I could imagine the real Charlotte to have some of the traits they pictured for her. However, they did something with the ending that I didn't quite like, but overall it was a very entertaining and funny book and I would recommend it to anyone who has read Jane Eyre. Next up is a play by Oscar Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest. I have read two works by this author, first Dorian Gray and this play, and while Dorian Gray is quite deep and philosophical, I found The Importance of Being Earnest to be light and super funny, and it made me love Oscar Wilde a lot and admire his humour and his mastery of using the English language. The story is about two friends, who make fake identities to escape social obligations that both have as respected members of the Victorian society. And they use these fake identities whenever they don't feel like being in a certain place or doing a certain work. So they go from country to the city or vice versa using their fake names and occupations to escape these places and not be recognized and sought after. There are also two young ladies that each of the gentlemen like and want to marry, but the ladies are fascinated by the name Ernest and fantasize about marrying a man that has that name. Hence the importance of being Ernest. And so through this maze of fakeness, there are hilarious plot twists and turns that one can't help but laugh at so hard. It's a very good play to read, it is light, it's funny, and I would highly recommend it. Coming at number two is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. It tells the story of Buttercup, the most beautiful girl in the kingdom, and how she came to know her true love, but maybe a little too late. It may sound serious, but this is the kind of light-hearted comedy that one can tell children. In fact, the whole story is supposed to be a tale that a grandfather tells his grandson, who thinks that sword-fighting and action-filled stories are way better than romantic love stories. But in this fantasy tale, there will be all sorts of action, adventures and friendship and a lot of comedy that has in its core a beautiful romance. I can't begin to tell you how much I enjoyed this book. I didn't want it to end. It had a lot of silly jokes, clever lines and the whole lightedness of all the action and killing and events that happen in it made it so engaging I couldn't put it down. The movie adaptation is very famous and it is a classic, yet it's nothing compared to the book. I had a hard time placing this as the second most funny book, as it is every bit as good as the first place book, but I had to put them in some order, though I love them both the same and I find them to be the most hilarious books that I have ever read. 
So at number one comes My Lady Jane, which is the first book in the Lady Jane series and it's a work of pure genius. Remember how I said the series is about famous Janes? Well, this one is about Jane, the Queen of Nine Days, who was forced to marry a stranger, become queen, only to be beheaded after nine days. The authors state that they are sorry to England for what they are about to do to their history, but I personally thank them for it. The authors added an element of fantasy that enabled them to change the history in such a dramatic and funny way, and that is to add the Ithians which are humans who have the ability to change to animal forms. For example, King Henry VIII changed to a lion, and so on. But at the same time, there are the Verity, which are humans who are against this race and want to kill and get rid of them all. Now, the husband who Jane is forced to marry is a young, handsome man from a noble family, but who is not very much seen around court because, well, he can change to a horse. Of course Jane doesn't know about this at first, but the story goes from there and how Jane with her husband will be able to evade the fate that awaits them at the end of nine days after coronation. I really enjoyed this book the first time I read it and I am rereading it again for the second time and still find its humour clever and very well done. I would highly recommend this book to anyone who enjoys fantasy with, well, quite a big touch of comedy. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know which funny books have you read and I'll see you soon.